Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will learn how to create a transport request, how to create our own package and how the objects will store into the transport request and package. Now we will see now, whenever I want to create a transport request, SC09 is the transaction code to create a transport request. And transport request is a mechanism or medium to transport the object from one system to another system. So we will see how to create a transport request in SAP. I will go to SC09 transaction code. With the help of SC09, you can create a transport request. I will click on to create button. Now, just remember, as of now, we are creating a workbench request. Now, in the future, whenever we will cover the topic transport organizer, we will go into whole detail of all these types of requests. As of now, we are going for workbench request. Now, Whenever you want to store your workbench object, workbench object means what? Your table, program, classes, function, module, whatever the ABAP workbench objects you are creating and you want to store into a transport request, please create a workbench request at that time. And in the future, we have a detailed explanation for the same. I will click on OK. Now, give some description to the transport request. Generally, in the projects, we are always giving a meaningful description. Suppose I am saying that description is development objects. And suppose, I will suppose give my name suppose. Rather than name, I will give my SAP login ID. Always in the projects, we are giving a meaningful description to the transport request. Now, we will click on to save button. And you can see SAP generated a unique number for the transport request, unique number. Now, whenever I will create for the next time, again, unique number will generate. Next time, again, unique number will generate. So every transport request has a unique number. Now, now we will learn how to create a package. So I will go to SC21 transaction code. So SC21 is the transaction code for package builder or we can create a package with the help of SC21. Now we are creating a customer specific object so the first name will start with Z or Y. Suppose I will give the name ZPKG and suppose I am giving some, suppose I am giving some serial number. I will click on to create button. Please, whenever you are creating any, any object in SAP, Package is also an object. So whenever you want to create 
any object in SAP, always give the short description. Suppose I'm saying package for development objects. Now I will click on to OK button. Now you can see system is asking for transport request. Now, please go for own request button. And I will choose my transport request. See, as of now, lots of transport requests are available. This is the case in the projects also. You might create lots of transport requests, but please choose the dedicated one at that point of time. That's why I clicked on to own request button. So this is the transport request which I created. So description always, always a important, always plays an important role. I'm just choosing my transport request. Okay. So now my package is saved into transport request. Now we will see. If I will show you the transport request which I created. It was blank initially. Now, if I will show you my transport request, I will display the transport request. Now, the transport request has my package name. So, I can transport this from one system to another system. This particular request will transport the objects from one system to another system. Now, suppose if I will show you my package. In the previous video, we learned you can navigate to all those things, all the objects with the help of SCAP. So I can go to SCAP. Or you can go for SC21 also because with the help of SC21, you created the package. You can display the package. Now, I will just show you with the help of SC80. That is Object Navigator. Now, from the drop down, I will choose Package and I will give the package name zpkg underscore seven. Now you can see as of now, my package is blank because nothing is stored into this package. I just created the package. Now, what I will do for the demo purpose, I'll just create a table sub. I'll go to SC11 and I will create a table, suppose. I will create a test table. Suppose I'm giving some name and I'm clicking on to create. I'm giving some description to the table. I'm choosing the delivery class. Now I will click on to save button. Now, please do not save it as local because if you will save it as local, it will not become the part of your transport request and it will not become the, or it will not become the part of your package because local objects will store into package $TMP. So I will pass the package name, which I created few minutes back. Whenever you will store into this package, now whenever you will click on the save button, system will prompt for transport request. Now I clicked on to save button. Now you can see system is 
prompting for transport request also. Now I will choose that transport request and I will click on to OK button. Now, if I will show you the package in SC80, you can see my package has one object now, which I just saved. Yes. And if I will show you the transport request, if I will refresh and you can see the transport request has two objects because package is also an object for the transport request. But inside that package, we stored a table. So in this particular video, we learned how to create a workbench transport request, how to create our package and how to store the objects into the package and how to store into the transport request. So that's it in this video. Thank you very much. Thank you.